Hello and welcome back. Uh, this would be the part four of uh, a video in a series of videos on how to install SCCM uh, as Microsoft Systems Configuration um, Manager 2007. And so in the previous videos we had gone through all the prerequisites and now we're actually at the actual installation of SCCM. So the first thing we need to do now is um, to ins to extend the um, active active directory schema um, what you need to do is create certain tables and rows and so on and so forth for um, SCCM to populate data into and in order for it to do it um, uh, you have to run this um, uh, this tool called extadsch.exe to extend this schema all right, so what we then that has to be run on the Active Directory, um, and you need to be logged into um, uh, you need to be uh, logged into Active Directory with an account that has um, Schema Admins um, Group or um, uh, Domain Admins Group in order for you to run this. So right now I'm logged in under the administrator account. And we're going to go ahead and get started uh, to run this tool. So I'm going to click on Start Run CMD. I'm going to go over to my CD drive. What you need to do is you need to go to the root of the uh, the CD, and you have to go into the um, SMS setup directory. So since I had already staged the files, I'm going to go into my Go into my directory. We're going to go into the SMS setup directory. Here we're going to go into the bin directory. And here we're going to go into the i386 directory. And if you see, there's all these files are in here. From there, we're going to run the um, Active Directory uh, schema extension file, which is the extadsh. Sch um, dot exe, and it's really quick. It's going to go through and just flash basically. So we're going to hit enter. Okay, looks like it completed. So what we need to do now is check to make sure the um, uh, schema extension was successful. We need to do that by going into my computer. C drive and looking at the log file. Okay, so here it went through and it says um, successfully extended the Active Directory schema. So um, we are done. Looks like it did. It um, extended it successfully. So now we can go ahead and go to the next step, which is to create a container within. Active Directory, and we need to do that by running the ADSI Edit Utility. So let's go ahead and proceed to that. Okay, so now what we need to do is open ADSI Edit to create the um, System Management Container. We're going to click on Start. We're going to go to Programs. We're going to click on Administrative Tools we're going to go up to ADSI edit alright if this is your first time going into it it will be blank we need to click on action click on connect to and we're gonna leave the default um, the very first one that comes up uh, the name default naming context just leave everything as is and click OK. This is going to add the um, uh, containers for us, the uh, Active Directory uh, schema um, files. We're going to double click this. We're going to double click on our uh, domain. 
you can click on the little plus and see how all the how all of these um, you know, OUs and containers that come up. All right, we're gonna right click on system. We're gonna go to new object. From here, we're gonna choose container. We're gonna click next. The value we need to give it is system management. We're going to hit next and we're going to hit finish. So now if you click this we have a systems management object created. Now we can go ahead and close this out. Now we need to come back to our Active Directory towards the top. And here we have the, if you double click on the systems, you will see that system management container is right here. So now we're going to right click system management and we're going to go to properties security here we're gonna click on add right, we're gonna click on object types and we're gonna choose computers click OK and click on advanced click on find now add the the SCCM admin and we're going to add the server name itself and we're going to add the SCCM server account we're going to click on OK now we have these two added so I'm going to click on SCCM and I'm going to click on full control I'm going to click on SCCM server I'm going to click on full control for SCCM I'm going to click on advanced here I'm going to choose the SCCM admin and I'm going to click on edit and I'm going to choose this object and all descendant objects click on OK click on Okay, and then we choose this again. Click on advanced. This time we'll choose the server name. Click on edit, and we choose this and all descendant objects. Click okay. We're gonna apply it, and then click okay. Apply here okay here and we are done with the extension of active directory schema and then contain and then creating a container within active directory for system management we're going to proceed on to the um, actual installation